Hi guys, this is Kate, or Tali and Caitlin, and on today we are doing just a um, French braided like top knot donut bun. And you want to show what the back looks like? Sure. So that is what the back looks like, and as you can see, we incorporated her colored hair, and so, so we French she French braided it up into a kind of messy donut bun. Yep, and so we'll show you everything that you need. So keep watching. Okay, so for this tutorial, you're gonna need a basic brush. It doesn't matter what brand. This one's from Sephora. Um, you're also going to need some bobby pins, and yeah. oh, you can also, it's optional, you can add hairspray and shine spray. And then you're going to need two to three hair ties, depending on what kind of um, bun you want to do. So, and oh, and optionally a sock bun too. Okay, so you just want to start out by brushing out her hair to avoid all tangles and knots. And this will also make it easier to braid. Okay, so we'll flip our hair upside down. And do you want to move back a little bit? There we go. Okay. So, again, this is just like the other tutorial. We're just going to take three pieces of hair. Start out with one thicker in the middle. And you can see this is our pink hair. And then take two from the side. And that isn't a rash. It's just from the hair dye. So, we're going to start again by just braiding one regular. Then, this time when you're pulling across, you're going to take hair with you. And just make sure it's as tight as possible. And then, take hair with you each time. Definitely make sure to make this as neat as possible or as neat as you can make it. And you don't have to grab all the hair all over the head. You just want to grab enough to make a good top bun. And you could do a ponytail, a ponytail or a bun, but we are just going to do a sock bun or a donut bun. So you just want to keep grabbing the hair and make sure it's as tight as possible. And this, this can be difficult, but it's easy once you get the hang of it. Okay. Just do a few more. And then... You're going to put it into a ponytail. Okay. Then I'm just going to braid it just by itself a few times. And then take the hair tie. Do you have one? Yeah. Thank you. And then <clears throat> while hair is still upside down, just kind of want to feel around for it. And is it too high on the head or do you want to pull it back a little bit? I don't care. Okay. So. You just want to make sure it's centered, of course, unless you want to do like a crazy side pony thing. And I'm just going to tie it as tight as humanly possible. Sorry if I'm pulling on your hair a little bit. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to sit it up. Okay. <laughs> and turn around. Okay. And you now don't have to do it this high. It's awesome. Yeah. It depends. It's all your own length. Now you can see her hair is pretty. Um, it's a medium length hair, so it'll be enough to cover a sock bun. So you just want to take your sock bun or donut bun. You can use it from actually a sock or, but I got this one at Claire's. And I just did the same color to match her hair. And then do you have like two more? Okay, thank you. So you want to start out by taking one and just completely as neat as possible covering the bun with the hair so it makes a, literally a perfect bun then we're just going to tuck in all the hairs with another hair tie and then we'll just use bobby pins to make sure all the hairs are in place I'm going to do more of a messy bun on her. Okay. And then I'm just going to take some bobby pins and... Oh, sorry. Just touch your face. And pull back. Any bumps? And then lay down. Okay. And then as you can see, she has a few little loose hairs. So we'll just tuck those. And then there we have it. 
Okay, and then to finish off this look, we're just going to use some of this shine spray and just gonna make it really glossy and pretty. It also makes your hair smell good. And then just to finish it off, just gonna hairspray it into place. And that is pretty much all that you need to do.